Hello everyone and welcome to J Rock Online. My name is Jay and with me today I have my girlfriend Sophie over here. Hello. Today I thought we will be playing Dungeons and Dragons Neverwinter. Neverwinter is a game developed by Cryptic Studios and published by Perfect World Entertainment or also known as Atari. It's planned to be releasing in early 2013. The game is influenced but not a part of the old series of Neverwinter and it was first planned as an online cooperative game but later on it changed into an MMORPG game instead. One thing that I do like about this game that I'm very curious about is what they call the Foundry. The Foundry is a tool that allows players to create dungeons and also to share with other players and well of course to play other players dungeons. What I was thinking of this episode is making a for about a two hour walkthrough with a little bit of let's play to start with to show you what never winter is. So we'll be dividing this into about four episodes covering most of the parts and if I do like the game I will create a part of the end game as well. Worth mentioning is also that Neverwinter is currently in an open beta since the last of April and what too is to be taken in consideration is that it's not perfect, it's not a finished version of it. But since the open beta has begun, I was thinking of giving you a little look of it. As you can see here you have several different races, you have half orc, human, elf, half elf, tiefling, halfling, dwarf, and uh, at least one more race that is about to be announced. Because she is between both female and male. Just because I like short guys, I'll let's go with a dwarf. You have six different classes. You have the trickster rogue. You have the Devoted Cleric. You have the Control Wizard. Great weapon fighter. And guardian fighter. And one class that hasn't been announced yet. So let's see what we choose. Let's go back and forth with some. Or perhaps Guardian Fighter. Let's go by Guardian Fighter. Next here you can change your ability scores and also a racial ability that boosts one of your abilities. As a Guardian Fighter, your primary ability is Constitution, your secondary ability is Strength and Dexterity. So let's see if we take this one, I get 2 plus Constitution and 2 plus Strength, which is good for me. And with the other one, I get 2 Constitution and 2 Wisdom. Let's go by the first one since it has my primary ability. I can use my or rather change my parents by presets or I can customize it by doing let's see if we can make it a little bit fast here by head shape my hairstyle say I want a long head dwarf It 
of kind of surprised. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Uh, I like dreads. Let's go by dreads. And the dark red, something like that. Let's see. Eyes. I want natural eyes. Can choose between both blind and hurt. I want blue eyes. I want him to look like me. <laughs> yeah, why not? He's a dwarf. Alright. <laughs> Complex. He can be cute. He can be young. He can be handsome. Handsome dwarf. Elderly. Oh, and I like my dwarf a little worn. Tattoos as well. I like that one for some reason. Can we make it a little bit? Uh, let's make it red. Red is cool. Some scars. Will be good. You can also scale your head. You can choose. No, I don't want that. I want a slim, swim, slim dwarf. But you can also scale your body. Let's see if that will be good. And then you can change your background of your character. Let's see, core mirror. Baldur's Gates. Sounds awesome. And they call me Flaming Fist Mercenary or something. And you can also show something like they call Deity Affiliation. Suppose that there's your God belief or something. But let's go. This is my awesome dwarf. Let's see what he's good for. I know you've been a ship for some reason on your way to the Neverwinter hey, capital. Are you all right? And something happened along Move the way. Around using the W A S and T keys. Thank the gods. Which I think you can choose between the ham. I'm away here to seek adventures. Neverwinter is my home. That is my business. I I don't remember. I'm seeking adventures. Adventure? The first path leads to your next objective. Press Adventurous Dwarf. As I first noticed when I tried to look in left and right objects. with my mouse and walking at the same time. It is a mouse movement like in this one. But you hover over your targets and such. Let's see. Let's just search the crates for some equipment. Rest. I got a shield and hopefully a weapon in here. Yes. Press I to open your inventory. Double click an item to equip it. Press the Alt key to toggle mouse cursor. The controls are pretty standard boots. compared to any other MMO out there. Stay with the W A S D keys. You use your mouse to look. Campfires or rest zones where out of combat players may heal. But it's a little bit different down here. Is the controls. The one and two keys are for like two ultimate abilities that you build up action points in able to be using. You have Q, E and R for other abilities. And you use left left click and right click. And as you can see here my first ability my cleave, left click. Is my standard attack and it works as a cleave. I cleave all targets in front of me in a cone good to of meet damage. You. It's good to see some. Although we stopped Valindra's main force, 
The battle is far from over. Left click to use cleave, damaging all foes in front of you. Hover your reticule over objects and enemies to target them. Strapping him down. What's new? The MMO genre at the moment is the interactive combat that they would like to call. Yes, first of all I need to hover over my object or I can hold control to be focused at my target. Well, move it. Like this. And also, since I have a shield, I can use my shift key to block. So I can show that. Get him and be mad. And now I'm blocking. So if I'm turning around and block the other way, it will hit me. And I will take damage. So you will need to be using some tactics to survive in this world. I need healing. Am I glad you came now that I chose some guardian class, I need to be... Let's see. Hit. Shield. Maybe two times. There we go. In order to survive. I need healing. So Thanks. let's see, this is the tutorial quest. And I'm currently on my way to the capital, which is currently under attack by zombies and shit. <laughs> Another dwarf. I'm not alone. And I have leveled up, and I get a new ability. A red wizard the ally point, still tide of iron. summoned undead. Private Hothedorn is trying to drive Let's them off his it's archers. But the smash your shield into a single foe and reduce their damage resistance. The dead, and recovers 10% of your guard meter. And as we can see in here, I can see both my character sheet here. Where I can be looking at my character and my gear. I can use my powers here. I have my racial and tactical abilities here. I have guard. Block all incoming damage in front of you at the cost of your guard meter. Also negate control effects like blast or stun. Then down here I have my combat powers. I have my clear ability. As you can see I can upgrade further on into the game by spending points into it. I'm not so familiar with this here. And I do also have feats, and I gained companions further into the game. But if we skip that for now, right. and hopefully, tide of iron to weaken and damage an enemy. we may see more of that later in the game. Let's see, I'm just gonna push this quest here to start advancing a little my current quest is to collect arrows I have now three out of nine arrows collect up on fallen which is scattered all over the area there we go Like the environment, it looks pretty good to be a free-to-play game. We must drive the wizard. Thank you. More undead are wizard, attacking Neverwinter. Way, they are boiling out of too. Castle Never and storming Not the really sleeping sure. dragon bridge. Need to buy if the bridge falls, they will the enter game. the heart of the city. Protect us, Enclave. I must stay and deal with the red wizards. Please a go to the fee. bridge and. Your enemy with a and now gain a new ability. Which is lunging strike, which I use by pressing Q, and this has a cooldown timer. It can be seen down at the action bar. See if I charge my 
and we hit has an 8 second cooldown. And as you can see on the left side there's my god meter which tells me how much I am supposed to block. As you can see, the more I block, the further down the meter goes. And here's the same clean ability. I suppose further into the game the guard meter drops way faster than it currently does right now. Hello again. You're looking a good deal fiercer than when you washed up on the beach. Left click on a drying out by the fire to, to travel to it. Let's see, and now I arrived at the bridge at the entrance to They're the castle. Trouble. We must go to their aid. Which is totally under siege at the moment. Shift to block. And here you can see the red circle on the ground. It shows where the attacks are coming, like arrows and bombs and all kind of stuff. You can either choose to run out of it or block it. There are two arches in here. Even though they shoot arrows, I can still dodge them by just being outside of these triangles they are showing me. So it's actually quite easy to like, avoid damage if you are at this a little skill player. I have been practicing some. Also, if I do hold down my left mouse button, it continues to strike until I release it. So there's nothing like an auto attack if you actively hold it down to attack. Take me. Just block it over here. I time my swing a little bit more. And there we go. All three went on. Deathlock White. Sounds something like a mini boss to me. He made a nice attack over there. That's good. Trying to block this one. That's pretty fine. Yeah. Where's my mate? Press one to activate villain's mate. It's gone. Damaging enemies around you, but the damage I have now gained a new ability on my number one shortcut here, Villain's Menace. Which is kinda like my one of the ultimate abilities. Which I need to gain action yeah, points in order to use. Whoops. Not very good letting him strike me in the back. Doesn't feel so good. And one strike. Blocking out one. One strike again. Cutting it down without taking any kind of damage at all. Oh, she's over here. Let's short over to them. Let's see what our new ability does. Kind of a cool AoE damage. What do you say, honey? Does it look good? Oh. <laughs> That's another. 
main boss, I suppose, called the Harbinger. He's, he had a badass name. <laughs> oh shit! That wasn't really us, what I was planning. Let's see, I can either block his damage with my shield, or can just run away from his attacks. No, since he is like the... As you can see there, he is like the first bigger mobs you are meeting. It's quite easy to predict. At the other miniboss, by the way, I collected some potions which ultimately fell down on my number 3 shortcut key, so if I press 3 right now, I get to use it and heal up. And I have gained a lesser school of identification and an unidentified item. Just see if I right click on the unidentified item and click identify, use the scroll on it. And I have gained some militia battle boots. Which fits perfectly for my dwarf. Something further over here. You have which is now dead. It was a weakling. <laughs> and a little cutscene of Neverwinter. Let's see if we can close it up. Loading Protector's Enclave. There we go. And the siege battle of the city is now over. And my current quest objective is to talk to Sergeant Knox. And I suppose he will provide me with both quest reward and some new quests. If I press M, I can get up my minimap of the city yes one quest just look like I'm able to pick it up at the moment so let's just skip it uh, let's see where did the trail go oh shit I'm lost <laughs> there we go There's a like glowing stuff in the ground. Uh, so I click away that. It's a pretty crowded city, both with NPCs and other players tonight. There came a horse, jumping horse, pretty fast. And your here we are at Sergeant Knox. See, I'm supposed to collect my reward, which is a battle scarred longsword. Which we will try to equip. Looks a little bit better than the old one. Whoop. Ah, uh, let's see. There we go. 
we lost a lot of good people and Complete the quest. I understand you lost quite a few of your belongings when the ship you were on was destroyed by the Dracolich. And that was the tutorial part of the Neverwind quest. Clothing. I'm sure you're going to want to relax and get out of your combat gear at some that's point. Dismiss Silent Knox, there we go. <laughs> so that's it for the episode today. But uh, stay tuned and please subscribe. And also please leave a comment in the comment section below to help me improve for my further episodes. Until then, take care, have a nice day. J-Rock signing out.